Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Tiny Toon Adventures Buster Bust Loose. I am right above this capsule at the beginning of stage four, and we're going to see exactly what happens when we land on the button. We get a balloon with Calamity Coyote's face on it. This is just amazing. Now, Hampton's on the plane, you have to land on these bubbles. And you had better be good with jumping on these. Because if you mess this up, it's a long way down and there is no way you're going to be able to recover. At least Hampton can't hit you. from running into you, so that's a good thing. Thankfully, we're almost near the top here. There we go. Good. Now, you want to be careful with these balloons because they will pop once they reach their highest point. Oh! Alright. Just using that drop kick there to ensure that I get to the balloons. And if you get to this platform, you'll find three stars and a one of which I just happen to waste. Just magically. Come on. I'm going to wait for these things to pop up again. That will teach me to be impatient. Alright, we're back. Can I get that life again? No, I cannot. Oh, well, I got 17 anyway. That's more than enough, but you can never have enough anyway. So, let's just get on this blimp. Want to be careful here. Because this blimp will kind of move on you a little bit. And you got all these baby bald eagles coming at you. And you'll definitely want to be sure that you're not in a position where you can basically get knocked off of the blimp. Like the use of Mode 7 here, by the way. I know there's not much of it. The only places where you really... Wow, I did not know that could happen. Okay, let's do this again. And this time, when it goes to the right, we don't get pushed off the right side of the screen. And that was amazing. I did not know you could die that way. And I know the dash meter is filled up, but I just, just should really go with that thing. Don't dash here. Just go a little bit to the left so that we don't get pushed off. There we go. I didn't know you could be off screen from being too close to the center there. Not sure if that was intentional or if it's a bug or something, but yeah, I did not even know you could do that. It never happened in the practice run, so... Oh! And the... Air cap on the blimp... Falls off, and you get sent over here. Now... You want to collect these glowing balls. And you want to be quick with it as well. Or do you have to collect six? I think you have to collect six. Oh, you have to collect five. Okay. And then you have to get on this platform that forms when you do. Hit all these balls. Which should take some doing, but the bumper kind of helps a little bit. So does your drop kick, which slows you down during your descent. And then... Make your way through this door 
and you're there. Don't want to be on the center for too long when you enter a new area because you will get sent down without a chance to recluse. So you want to get to the flippers quickly. You jump up here, break the ball, break blocking the door, and you'll finally find this treasure that Calamity was talking about. And it's the script for the next episode of Tiny Toons. Went a little faster at the end, I'm sorry about that. But you basically triggered something that makes the building collapse, and now it's time to get out of here. Buster goes in the door, and it's time for the final area. You want to leap to the other side here. This place will basically take your jumping skills to the max. This place auto-scrolls upwards, and you'll be collecting no more than 12 silver go go dodo trophies you'll basically just want to run and jump your way to the end you want to do it in one fell swoop otherwise you're not gonna make it again stuff like the black the the, the the balloon platforming and that final segment it's kinda easy to understand why if you played this part on children you if you play this game on children you won't be able to see the stage And yeah, that slow text speed allow me to talk a little more so I can go for the last bonus stage attempt of the game. Press the buttons, do what I get. Ah, finally. This time around, it's Babs Find Your Friends, and I am not going to be able to beat this one, I don't think. Yes, we know you have a chance to get extra lives. Stop it. Open the doors, find your friends, don't let Elmira, Arnold, or Dizzy Dev Devil run into you, otherwise you are kind of boned. I sure hope Elmira doesn't catch me. That would be bad if she does. Because Elmira is the worst to avoid. She is a pain to just get away from. And time is up. Well, at least I didn't get caught by Elmira, but I just took too much time. Didn't take an efficient enough course. But, we do have another stage. And guess what? This time around, it's a space opera. Don't know why they're doing this, but then again, pretty much like some episodes of Tiny Toons, there doesn't really seem to be much of a plot. I feel like I'm playing Friends the Cartoon or something. And they replace em Imperial Army and Jedi Knight with Evil Empire Army and Knight of Honor, respectively. This was actually used for a Star Wars based episode, but the hero was plucky, not Buster Bunny. I know uh, Princess Babs that was in that episode, but I think, I, I, I can barely remember it. But, here's the thing though, this stage is gonna be hard. Why is it gonna be hard? Or at least a little more difficult than the others? Because, my friends, this is the very last one. Once you beat this, you beat the game. And, uh, Buster and Babs just play along with the theme of this last stage, and, well, now we start. We take out that robot, get the star, and save the rest of this for the next video. So join me next time where I go through this Star Wars themed episode, get through all its tricks and tr trials and tribulations and troubles and beat this game once and for all. It's a nice stage, but it's the last one. So without further ado, until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!